With two kinds of aircraft and multiple missions being flown every day, Gaius Air Force Base's flight line stays busy. To avoid accidents, every aircraft's movement before and after takeoff is coordinated through the air traffic control tower. Before the planes can even get off the ground, they have to talk to us to be able to taxi to the runway, to be able to get their clearance to wherever they may be going, and then for them to take off to go do their mission. And then when they come back home, we're getting them on the ground safely and coordinating so that they can go to their parking location as quick as possible so that the maintainers can get the jets ready to go out again. Air traffic controllers talk to any aircraft within the airspace to give clearances and keep flight patterns orderly. This organization of planes can be demanding, especially if there are multiple aircraft within a small area. My favorite part would have to be that it's challenging because I'm still young so I like things that keep me on my toes and we never see the same exact thing two days in a row time flies when you get in position and you're actually working constantly. I'll look at the clock and an hour has gone by and it doesn't even feel like I've been working that long. With the tower in control, the 7th Bomb Wing and the 317th Airlift Wing are able to complete their missions on time. Reporting from Dias Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class Susan Roberts.